Electric cars may even be cheaper than most petrol and diesel vehicles in the run-up to the 2030 petrol and diesel car ban. Hefty upfront costs for electric models are often considered one of the main reasons preventing further electric cars adoption, why electric vehicles price keeps increasing. In this video I'm going to explain to you why electric cars are expensive to purchase, and the factors responsible for increment of electric vehicles, stick with us till the end to find out, and subscribe to our channel to get notified any time we upload a new video, let's dive into our main topic. Battery prices are keeping the cost of electric vehicles higher than their internal combustion partners, experts say. Electric vehicle batteries are normally produced using minerals like lithium, cobalt and nickel that must be produced using minerals that are popular. The significant expenses keep these vehicles far off for some Americans, hampering the reception of a significant device in the battle against environmental change. Electric vehicle batteries are as yet costly. They're more costly than gas motors right now, while the cost of an electric vehicle might fluctuate. These sorts of vehicles are regularly more costly forthright than those that require gas. In any vehicle the power plant is the most costly piece of the item, and that is driven by the unrefined components. The refining, how much energy and the accuracy that is expected in making a battery cell and in making battery packs, battery costs have descended pretty decisively throughout the past 10 years. But regardless, particularly this year, we're really seeing battery costs return up again due to a spike in a portion of the key unrefined substances that are expected to create the battery. Electric vehicles are generally ordinarily fueled by batteries that are comprised of minerals including lithium, graphite, manganese, cobalt and nickel. The flow exorbitant costs for minerals are a transient issue adding that the interest for lithium is spiking right now yet that the mineral is bountiful across the globe, over the last few years. As the interest for electric vehicles has developed emphatically, especially in China and Europe and all the more as of late here in North America, the interest for lithium has detonated thus have the costs. Taking note of that nickel costs likewise rose after Russia's attack of Ukraine since some nickel comes from Russia, however, the costs of electric vehicle batteries in the following couple of years could diminish in light of the fact that a few scientists are growing new sources to get lithium. And furthermore pushing towards some unique battery sciences that are utilizing materials that are more open and more reasonable. Another factor in the high prices of electric vehicles is that there are fewer of them, so certain costs for automakers are spread out among fewer cars and companies can't get as favorable rates from their suppliers. Many electric vehicles are also made by luxury brands or by a company will make their most expensive models electric meaning that they can be more expensive than an average car, for just about every new automotive technology, it always starts on more expensive cars and then works its way down as volume increases and they figure out ways to make it more affordable, Democrats, meanwhile, have said that their new Inflation Reduction Act is expected to help bring down the costs for consumers, with tax credits totaling as much as $7,500 for electric vehicle purchases. But the credit comes with certain stipulations that may be very difficult to meet. At least in the near term, half of the credit, $3,750 will rely on where battery minerals come from, requiring a certain, escalating percentage to come from countries with which the United States has a free trade agreement. The other half of the credit will be based on manufacturing battery components in North America. Experts say the minerals requirement will likely disqualify most cars in the near term, making the credits less effective, but could help shore up United States and United States friendly supply chain in the long term and make the country less reliant on places like China, what they came up with, in the long term, will actually probably be better because it will incentivize, localizing production of materials of batteries so you're not shipping stuff all the way around the world, but, in the near term, the program as it is right now was clearly structured to appease. Will the current price of electric vehicles remain the same or increase after a while?
let us know in the comment section, and subscribe to our channel with the bell notification turned on to get notified any time we upload a new video, thank you.